I'm old and I read old books. 613 Commandments, English translation of the Hebrew Bible, the Quran, and lots of books over there on the shelf, lots more. About philosophy, about health, about language. I have a young relative and when he goes to his religious congregation, he doesn't go to one that has a lot of old people in it. Now, I know why this is, because old people know things, they're experienced, and they can look at him and, and tell him things, give him advice that he doesn't want to hear. Why am I talking about this? Well, I'm thinking, I'm a thinker, and I've been researching and listening to all this going on about the pandemic, and I notice when they change their minds, the government, the medical establishment, first they said don't wear masks, now they say you have to wear a mask in public, even certain stores have signs in front of them. You must enter with your mouth and nose covered. Okay, I'm flexible. I want to make everybody happy. I follow instructions. But there's a danger here for these people controlling our lives that we might just find out that, okay, you don't want us to go to school. People are getting really cozy at home. They're getting adjusted to having their kids at home. They kind of like it. They don't have to worry about school shootings. They don't ha have to worry about female teachers seducing their preteen sons. They don't have to worry about male teachers kidnapping their young teenage daughters. Yes, these things happen. I read about it all the time. So. You know, we might just, people might just start saying, okay, why do we need to go back to school when things calm down? It's not uh, required legally because the law allows for people to do homeschooling. And there's all kinds of homeschooling companies that will send you all the materials you need. And you could pick any type you want. You could pick a nature lover's homeschooling. You could pick any religion you choose homeschooling. You could pick a secular homeschooling. I mean, and anything goes. You're free. It's your choice. So what else? What else might happen? Maybe we'll stop going to stores. Maybe we'll just buy everything online. Maybe we'll insist on working at home all the time. Why should we go back to, to a building and spend gasoline and, and have to maintain our, our vehicle and, and, and be with all these uh, potential uh, germs out there? We'll just insist on working at home. You like my work? You want to keep me as a valued employee? I will work at home. So what will happen? then we won't need all these big buildings that have to pay a lot of utility bills, you know, air conditioning and heat, and then you need security there, and then you need to maintain the parking lot, and on and on and on. So maybe all this can be used for great good. Think about it. Tell me your ideas. I know there's a lot of things I, I'm, I must be leaving out because um, and everything's just going crazy and this is the time to think about everything and and change your life for the good <laughs>